Last week, the great and the good gathered in Dubai for the World Government Summit. What came out of those conversations? This is Inside AB. I'm Jeremy Lawrence, joined today by Eddie Taylor. So, Eddie, uh, it seemed that the great and the good jumped straight from Davos over to the far sunny of Dubai. They did. There was an awful lot of high-powered, high-profile people coming in. As you say, they seem to have jumped straight from Davos to uh, to Dubai. Uh, you know, we'll talk about a change in climate from mm. like, you know 11,000 feet up in mm. the in the Alps to uh, to Dubai. Um, there was the likes of Narendra Modi gave the introductory address. There was Her Highness Princess Haya gave a, a very important speech at the beginning. As even Robert De Niro showed up. Um, but I think the one that sort of got the most headlines generating was the uh, managing director of the uh, IMF, uh, Christine Lagarde. And she actually was very at pains to talk about the courage of the Arab world is displaying and the importance of the economic liberalization and social liberalization mm. product projects that a lot of these countries in the region are going through mm. and talking about the need to diversify, but also to build a much kind of stronger social base for economic development going forward. So that was a that was one of the kind of the speeches and one of the addresses that got a lot of attention. Okay, so we had these headline speakers, but um, I believe there was quite a different feel to Davos. I mean, it's, it, they are doing different jobs, shall we say. I mean, mm. that's the World Economic Forum. This is the World Government Summit. But mm. I think it's fair to say that in, in Dubai, we saw a lot more kind of uh, drill down specific seminars, workshops, panel discussions, all seeking to address very specific problems and come up with, you know, real world solutions. It wasn't kind of highfalutin speechifying. Mm. This is kind of like, well, let's actually sit together and, and work some things out. And a good example of this was this guy, a guy called uh, Sebastian Thrun, who is the CEO of Udacity. Mm. Uh, he's a, basically an education entrepreneur, and he was uh, paneling a dis discussion called. Uh, the One Million Arab Coders Initiative, which is again trying to give young people in this region the tools they need to participate in uh, the modern economy. And mm. to give you an idea of some of the other panels that we had, Future Cities and Artificial Intelligence in partnership with the Dubai Municipality. We had FinTech and RegTech revolutionizing compliance and promoting financial inclusion. I mean, real world kind of like, you know, nitty gritty subjects that were being discussed here. And that was, I think, a bit different to the feel that we had at Davos. OK, so could you dig in a little bit more into the real world applications of these talks? Yeah, I mean, that was the great thing. These things, again, they weren't just theories. They weren't just kind of nice ideas. These were real world things. And actually, the RTA use the World Government Summit to road test uh, these things behind us, the world's first autonomous pods as they're being described, and they're a mass transit system, uh, completely autonomous vehicles, they can hold up to uh, 10 people and they run on their own in their own guided lanes mm -hmm. and they can sort of uncouple and decouple depending on demand and that's again these things aren't just theories these things that we're going to start seeing being pushed through and being used actually on this subject i wrote a new story last week about uh dubai's rta signed a, an agreement with here technologies which does digital mapping in real time so in the background there's all these things happening all the time exactly. to, to, to promote so it's not just these fancy it's not just pods. these things and dubai has a minister of artificial intelligence so there's yeah. these things happening all the time in, in you know in, in in full view which is really exciting mm. Mm. Okay, okay. And uh, edge of government, there were more innovative things on display uh, there. For kind of anyone that's kind of a little bit of a tech geek, I mean, this the edge of government summit was a, was an exhibition part of the World Government Summit that was absolutely just kind of fascinating. Some of, again, not just plans, things that are being piloted or road tested that are actually already out there. We had tech solutions from Kenya. This is a really interesting thing where a little smart app is put on the base of your car and you can drive around the roads of Kenya and it monitors problems with the roads, whether it's potholes or other such problems. And, and then um, that alerts labor groups in sort of certain parts of the country and then they can bid for a contract to go and repair them in real time, completely mm. cutting down all of that sort of, you know, inefficient bureaucracy of, uh, mm. of government spending. One really weird one from Canada is uh, uh, Companies that that involved in businesses that make a lot of noise, construction sites or, or, or party venues or nightclubs, mm. can actually enter into a smart contract with uh, people in the local neighbourhood on a blockchain. Mm. Uh, and if they transgress their stated noise levels, they get they get fined in uh, cryptocurrencies, which is fantastic. Which goes out to the people all around in the neighbourhood. And uh, I'm not sure I'm quite ready for this one. One from Sweden. Um, they're actually it's a train company that's replacing your ticket with a. Uh, 
a chip that's embedded under the skin and in your hand. So it's train, finally happened. The, <laughs> the train guard can come around and just swipe your hand and say, oh yeah, you're going all the way to Stockholm. So right. again, real world things that are already happening. So that chip thing, it's already happening in Sweden. Wow, wow, okay. Well, it seems like there was a lot on display there at World Government Summit, fascinating as ever. Um, thank you, Eddie Taylor. You've been watching Inside AB. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Join us every day at 10 a.m. And please do comment below as well. If you've got any thoughts, suggestions, uh, comments on what we've been talking about, then do get involved in the conversation. See you next time. Bye.